if you compare electric vehicles to combustion engine vehicles the thing is electric vehicles over their lifetime might be cheaper right because less maintenance cost and you know less repair cost all of that but the upfront cost on electric vehicles is significantly higher than combustion engines and in a price sensitive market like india that matters a lot the reason why the upfront cost is so high is because of the battery right now by doing battery swapping as a focus area by figuring out battery swapping what the government is also trying to do is doing something called or or implementing something called as battery as a service which is basically you get the vehicle upfront at a certain cost and then the battery is basically a subscription of sorts right so think of it like you fuel your vehicle every 2 weeks or every month you will be you will be paying a cost to a battery provider uh, who you've subscribed the battery from and this is the exact model that bounce has come up with bounce infinity is an electric week two wheeler electric vehicle company in bangalore based out of bangalore and now they've started delivering across india uh, so they have built this entire model where the battery comes as a service so it's a subscription cost uh, which you pay monthly i think and uh, that you get the vehicle on an upfront cost iron energy is pretty cool they do battery management services and if i when i briefly went through the policy they mentioned uh, battery management as well that it's important that there's interoperability and there's a battery battery management that happens as well so that the um, the batteries can function properly with whatever vehicle uh, it's is being used um, I, i recently passed by the iron energy offices in andheri east uh, it's a cool company um i'm super bullish on it and we have a friend who works there so we are if people are interested uh we can try to get the ceo of iron energy as well to speak more about uh the battery industry and what they are doing when i pulled out the financials are doing about 9 10 crores in turnover but one of the things that i do know is uh the india entity is probably just a subsidiary of their us entity which is where all the funding and everything happens so probably the main revenue numbers are there and these might not be the accurate revenue numbers in that sense the other company's battery pool was very interesting what battery pool is doing is uh they are building the hardware and the software that's needed to manage battery swapping stations right and their entire pitch is that anybody who has a large fleet will want some of these to be installed at a few different places wherever their cars are going and this this is called as the captive swapping station or captive charging station right which is uh, only for that particular fleet operator uh, it'll be there and they are providing the hardware and the software so plug and play of sorts right um, and very interesting company very low in revenues because i think they're still trying to figure out the product market fit there inverted is another company that is in this space they're fairly large they they have about 25 crores or 27 crores in turnover but they've been in the energy storage business for a while um so just like inverters they do in energy storage and they now have a mobility division i think this is a good primer for the kind of companies that will enter this space right anybody who's been in the energy storage business the amaras of the world uh, you know people who have already been manufacturing batteries these people will look at this as an exciting industry to start sort of you know using some of the profitable cash flow that's being generated from their traditional business from their you know stable business and putting that into this to grow this market i think that's that's going to be a good sort of primer on how this industry is going to play out with that said i do think there are going to be newer companies that are going to be set up uh from a research perspective there'll be companies as you said you know focusing on r&d for advanced chemistry uh cells and you don't really have to manufacture these products as long as you can do good r&d you can license the technology or you can cut out deals with manufacturers who will be happy to take this technology and pay you a royalty or pay you something with it right so you could be an r&d focused company you could be a hardware manufacturer in this space there is a software play because even the policy specifically talks about battery management software or battery management system and how iot needs to be utilized to make sure that the batteries are good and can be tracked 